Hello everybody. Do you wonder that you haven't learned Python in class 11 CBSC? Uh, it was there in my CS uh, subject, but I was busy with physics, chemistry and maths. Then don't worry, I am here to give you a short crash course on the entire class 11 syllabus. So what are you waiting for? Let's get started. Python is an object-oriented high-level programming language which was developed by Guido Van Rossum in 1991. Python is also platform independent that means you can run it on Windows, Mac or Linux also. Its readability is quite easy because it has striking similarity with the English language. Python is also a language used by several of developers all around the globe in the present time. Python is used by people to build apps just like Instagram. It also has a lot many number of libraries from wherein you can grab lots of code. So Python is a very flexible and useful programming language. The concept of variables. Now in any programming language uh, like Python, we have some containers called variables. Now these containers are just like real life containers. They are empty in beginning and then we put some values in it and we store it in them so for example you have a pen in front of you and you want to keep this pen into this container like this if you want to keep it like this so the same thing if you want to do in programming language then you will write like x let's say x is our variable x is our container you can put a uh, variable and container the same way to understand just understand this x is a variable okay just like a container empty container that is equal to one so this pen let's say it's a value called one so we have a container x equal to one that means we are assigning the value one inside a container or a variable x like this so from then on in that program whenever we refer to x if we have not changed the value of it then x will always represent one because there's only one being assigned to this container now if the value of x has been changed from one to two then this container one will be removed and two the value 2 will be assigned into this container. So that time if you want to use x then x will have two things. This concept is really very important because if you don't realize it later while defining variables which will be always necessary to begin with in any program. So if you are well aware of this concept the container can don't use the word container but this variable concept then I think you will be able to understand programming a lot better. Another very important thing for variables is that whenever you assign the value to this variable then there is a certain convention that the variable will be always put in the left hand side and the value will be put in the right hand side. Remember this, this is a very important thing, variable on the left hand side and the value on the right hand side and in between there will be an equal to, okay. Data types. Now Python has a lot of data types in it. So we will discuss each of them. Numbers. Numbers data type stores only numeric values. So Python has numbers in it which are frequently required. Now the subtypes of numbers are number one integer which represents only whole numbers and no fractional part only whole numbers. Then you have boolean which is a subtype of integer it contains only two values true or false it can be written as one or zero now the second subtype of number is floating point values which have real numbers with decimal parts as well so the examples are 3.2 or 1.0 Next we have complex numbers. In maths we write it in the form x plus y i but in python we write it in the form x plus y j. Examples 2 plus 5 j or 4 minus 2 j. Next we have sequence. A sequence is a group of items with a well defined ordering where each item is indexed by an integer. It contains string, lists and tuples. Next we have mapping. A mapping object maps immutable values to arbitrary objects. It includes dictionary. At last we have none which is a data type with a single value. It is used to signify the absence of any value. Python doesn't display anything when we give a command to display the value of a variable containing the value as none. Ah, 
सो हाउ डिड यू लाइक द वीडियो इफ यू लाइक इट देन प्लीज सब्सक्राइब द चैनल एंड सेव द प्ले लिस्ट बिकॉज मोर वीडियोज विल बी कमिंग अप वेरी वेरी सोन एंड द कंसेप्ट ऑफ पाइथन विल बी एज क्लियर एज एनी थिंग द नेक्स्ट वीडियो वी विल हैव द रियल टाइम प्रोग्रामिंग इन विजुअल स्टूडियो कोड सो प्लीज डाउनलोड इट इफ यू हैव एंड डन इट ऑन योर कंप्यूटर और लैपटॉप also share the video with your friends who are in trouble with python and uh, that's all for today thank you